Okay, the time is now 7 p.m. I'd like to call this town of Plainfield West Select meeting to order for April 12th at 7 p.m. and ask that you please rise and pledge allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. notices for meetings and in the particular case of voting on this and going to referendum this was something that was stated in the charter and that it has to be done it's a two-step process that's my understanding so I hope that people can understand more as we explain more how things work and why it had to go to vote to go to referendum and it has to be a vote now so it's just my opinion that um, I think it was handled very well, and the more you look into it, the more you find out why it had to be done that way with the charter. So, just had to add that. Thank you. Any other public comment? Here we go, we move into old business item E, and I don't have any old business at this time. Um, item F, we have new business. Okay. New business item 101, consider an act on tax refunds as requested by the tax collector totaling $63.46. 
We do have that one item for Robert C. Springer for $63.46. What's your pleasure? Make a motion to approve the tax refund for $63.46. I'll second that. Any other discussion? Hearing none, all favor say aye. 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 Item number two is considered an act on sale of lots two and three to the I Park and the second date of the town meeting approved. In your packet, you will see on item number three. There you go. Item number three uh, came to us in the way of what well, we had uh, item, uh, lot number two and three up for sale multiple times. We've had some issues. Uh, this one happened to be a little different where we had uh, the last group that came to us saw something um, on the property and uh, noted that there was an encroachment of property. On, from their lot, concrete uh, floor lot, they actually encroached on lots two and three. So that's why the other company backed up. They didn't want to go through all the details of trying to fix that. However, it did bring up an interesting uh, uh, a bit of information that the uh, Ken Laro from, he was the owner of concrete floors, uh, the old senior packet, the notation there is that he's the, uh, looking to purchase that because he's looking to grow. So what we'd like to be able to do, and obviously we know Mr. Lara has already been in business there for a while, so um, uh, we know his background, but there is a little bio here for you in case you want to read on it. And um, he does, definitely wants to to, uh, to move forward with his business and, and uh, look to grow into that area.
recommends. Okay. I, I just noticed that as they change from federal to state, they add requirements. Mm -hmm. Is there a reason for that? The federal doesn't have as much requirements as far as the housing? No. Connecticut State has more. There, yeah, there, there's... That's all. Okay. I'm just curious about that. So it would be... So no. I'll make a motion to adopt the Fair Housing Resolution for 2021. I'll second. All right, I'll second. Any further discussion? Hearing none, all in favor say aye. 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 Final one is um, based off of some modifications that were made for your annual budget. I'm hoping that you do you get the copies into your packet. The basic idea is that we can try to modify this and work with the Board of Finance and for the town to come up with some, some changes here and there so we can still be able to come forward with a what we consider a fair um, budget that still is trying to do a few things progressively and, and um, so keep the numbers so we can uh, again work with the Board of Finance to uh, uh, present something to the town. I know that one more thing I'll mention to you is that uh, I was going to put it in the other portion but just as a perfect time to say it is that this Wednesday there will be a meeting for the department heads in the town of Plainfield with the Board of Finance that, the, that this fall has to be used for the voting so we're going to go over to the second school. But uh, this is the packet that you have in front of you. You probably notice the biggest modifications that are here on page two. Um, what we had originally proposed was, uh, again, a, a mill is pretty close to a million dollars, just a little over. So the proposal here is that we can put forth, uh, first of all, we anticipate that the number four grant list for the uh, taxes to be collected. Uh, we've been Actually, pretty steady with 98 percent or more for the last few years. So we felt confident by changing that to 98 percent to keep in line with what we've been collecting. In doing so, that helps to bring down the actual numbers that we needed, and we can cut a few other things, make some changes. So you'll see they're not not big changes, but kept it down to 192,167 dollars. Just needs to be cut in order to create a. Uh, a zero mill increase. Otherwise, it would be a 0.19 increase from car. So my only comment to that is that you know I feel that's important that the grant list using that percent because again we know that we've always collected over that, um, and I know the first year that I I worked on the budget and we did that. You know, people were really concerned about that. That that's not the way you know it's been done over all the years. But why increase your taxes when you know that if you just increase that, you're going to be okay? So I want to say thank you for continuing with that, Kevin, because I think that's important. You know, that people know that just because it wasn't done in past years, it doesn't mean that you can't change things. So that's a good thing using the ninety. I think it's very fair. It's very fair because I, I know we've been talking with the Board of Finance and our chairs here tonight about how we've been working together on that. And I think it was maybe five years now that we've been over that. Actually, well over that a couple years because, um, and I'll mention this now, we had a tax sale the other day, which now that the governor has released uh, and opened up the tax sales in the town halls, they have seen a tremendous amount of people coming out for those sales. And I know that we're not going to get the money from that until six months from now, but um, we're looking at well over $105,000, and that's pretty good. Um, the idea of one house that sold was, and again, we don't get what we're due for back taxes, but uh, a house that was sold was valued at $43,000, but it sold for $107,000. So people are just buying things, and, and that's the way it is right now. It's a, it's a buyer's market. Sell it making some money. So, right. uh, so we do uh, we do definitely think that the grand list is going to be fine. Um, there is a little bit of wiggle room, not a lot, but there's a little bit of wiggle room. I think that uh, we'll be able to work with the Board of Finance. I've been talking to Tom all along about that. 
what you need to do to get it cut for us is it's fine. I, I know we can make some sacrifices here and there, and we can do that. So, but I think this is this fair. You'll also notice the five-year capital. Did you have that in your packet? Five-year capital. All right, so the five-year capital, as it stands right now, um, we've added a few things in there. Um, you know, you, you find that if you don't put certain things in there and some money's become available, it makes it difficult just to move forward. I guess the hypothetical one would have been the police. Had that been a line item for the, for the, for the uh, radios in there, it would have made it much easier, but uh, it wasn't there at all, so it wasn't proposed. Um, you'll notice that the HVAC is still there for uh, 80000 for this year, 80000 for the next. There are some other line items in there. I think what the other thing you'll notice is um, on the bottom of page one, this is parks and properties. We're really looking to come forward with the Quinnabog Trail. So the River Trail is something that, you know, if we are able to get some money from the rent, it would, it would be tremendous to do that and go forward. Um, we want to make sure we have people understand that, you know, there's things that if we need rent money, we can go forward with. So that's why they're in there. Um, you will also, on top of page two, you'll also see things that were added. Uh, Lakeford Road sidewalk construction. We also put in the Dow Road Bridge project. Cemetery Road water runoff project. Um, we still are looking at the possibility of the Main Street Pusset Pavilion. And uh, we can notice that there was open space in two spots. One open space was up in the town hall. One open space was put here in this area. So we've reduced that down. So it makes sense. So that's the proposal, and we'll bring that forward to the Board of Finance on Wednesday and hope we get their blessings to move forward in an appropriate manner. Kevin, I just have a question. Um, so the assessors in the department head, there was no increase? Uh, good, good catch, good call. Um, but that is, if you notice, um, You'll notice a few of them are zero, or zero increases. Some of those are assessor has a zero. Mm -hmm. a highway supervisor. Highway supervisor, police. You'll probably notice that um, a couple of the supervisors' positions have zero. Mm -hmm. What you need to do is then look at the contingency line because they're still in contracts. Okay, because I was going to ask yeah. about the contingency yeah. why that was increased. Okay. Yes, that's exactly why. Okay. Because it's, uh, the number there is, is reflective of the supervisors having a completed contract as of yet. So we made sure we put the money and rolled it into the contingency. And the same thing for highway and police, which is a large number when we think about it. I had a feeling it was due to the contract. Well, yeah. just, okay. I mean, you try to put in a certain percentage, you try to put in something that you would think would be an average, um, and then if it comes in, you're okay. So um, that's why that was. And then the stipend for the deputy fire marshal. Uh -huh. So I know we never had that before right. until. So is that why that's in there? Exactly. Now we, we have hired a new uh, fire marshal who will be starting on the 19th. That person will be coming in at what we anticipated was the higher rate because that's actually lower than we see from towns around us. Mm -hmm. But he was willing to take that much. Um, the other thing was we have had this town does, has never had the deputy marshals. Right. But this is a way to help support for the fires that we have and the, the deputy fire marshals will be there while they're waiting for each other to get there. So um, that, that was something else we thought we would put forward. That was a suggestion by the outgoing fire marshal um, in support of trying to work together with all of those different things we have going on. I just had a question about the revenue. Mm -hmm. Uh, state or local? Uh, local. Okay. And recreation receipts? Uh, is it halfway down? Yeah, and well, two thirds. Right about the, right about the middle. I'm sorry, I didn't hear. Uh, local recreation, recreation, recreation. receipts. Oh, okay. Is that rental or rental? No, no, no. no, right under pool receipts. Up in the middle binder. Right there. Oh, okay. yeah, because it's. Yeah, it's in the hole. 
All right, so what you're looking at is um, that was recreation of the seats where you had trying to work on a different plan for the recreation department. You'll notice that the recreation director has been very active about putting out promoting the different activities that are going on. And his idea is actually to uh, have certain revenues coming in from that. So that's why um, it's going to go right back into the program. So that's, that's some of the offsets to purchase items. Um, so there's a little different way of doing it, but that's what his intention is at this point. Okay, so he's, he's put it in his budget. Yeah. So right below that, investment interest. Uh, investment why interest. Is that, why is that anticipated such a drop? Well, we don't anticipate the market. Well, uh, this is really more of a Kelly answer, but uh, okay. the, the anticipation is what we're going to get from the market. So she's not looking at much. Looking at green, yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. I anticipate that the building permits is a fair number and it might even be a low number. Yeah, I said, uh, yeah they, they've been getting quite a bit. Yeah. We just don't know when uh, Amazon will come forward with a, an actual permit, but when they do, we anticipate a large uh, revenue line there. That's okay, we can go on to other because I do have a few things to talk about on the other. Um, I've reached out to the gentleman who ran our household hazard waste tank and they did a, a, a very, very good job of, of uh, coordinating it. Uh, and so they subcontract the company out of Pennsylvania. He's going to meet with me on Wednesday and we're going to go over the numbers to see how much it costs. Um, with 354 people service, I, I think they did a good job. So. Definitely helps out. Uh, so, with a follow up reminder for Wednesday, 6 30 at the Plainfield Central, as in the cafeteria. There is also other activities which are starting up, and just so you know, that there is a Plainfield bike night July 15th. Um, so, they're looking to put that together. There'll be announcements starting, I guess, already on Facebook, and we look forward to that. Now, sad. Did you have that on the package? So we do have another retirement from town of Plainfield, and um, that is the uh, clerical support for multiple well, areas really. It's the uh, you know, planning and, and engineering, uh, planning and zoning. It's also someone who uh, does do the minutes for different meetings, and that's part of the job description. So, well, thank you, Marianne, for bringing that forward. The job description I have one as well, so we can put it together. What I'd like to do is be able to post the position. Um, obviously, she's um, going to hold on until July 1. That's her last day. But we're looking to see if we can get somebody to take over that position. And it's not an easy thing. It's really not, because I have to be very, very knowledgeable in different areas of expertise. So. Um, and I'm also available at nighttime to be able to come in and do meetings. So, Thank you. Quite a few. Yeah, that's a few. Okay. Um, another quick announcement that the uh, state of Connecticut is withdrawing a lot of monies for the COVID-19 testing. We've been part of seeing force testing for Thursday evenings from 3 to 7 at the rec center. And so this will be the last one because they've pulled the funding on that. So this will be it for that. There's one other thing going on. Uh, we're working in cooperation with the Board of Education uh, for the vaccine for those people who would like to have it. Uh, the first round went through for 
uh, staff members for Board of Education, and they actually service other people as well. <coughs> they got 740 shots, and that was a Johnson Johnson, so it was just a one timer. Uh, a few weeks ago, they did another round for Durham, and they serviced 1,450 people. So the next second shot is coming up on April 24th, um, and I'm sure they'll have a few extras available for anybody who wants to start their first time. So um, that'll take place at the high school. And I don't think there's anything else. So if anybody has anything else. Thank you. Motion to adjourn. Any motion to adjourn? Mark? I'll second that. Kathy, second. All in favor say aye. 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 725. Thank you.